Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I hope that uh, if you love this, that you will subscribe and come back to me time and time again. Uh, love, love, love the opportunity to work with you and to just help make life a little bit better in um, certain areas and uh, really fun. Um, we're going to work on uh, yoga for golfers. So if you are an avid golfer or not even an avid golf golfer, but just wonderful for um, rotation, for core strength, um, flexibility in the spine, flexibility in the hips and the shoulders, uh, helping with the golf swing, um, helping with stability, and uh, just helping with life. So uh, I hope you guys are great and you have what you need, uh, water for sure, and uh, any props that you might need uh, for shoulder work. So if you have super tight shoulders, a belt or a strap or a towel is a wonderful thing to have. Um, a bolster, uh, a pillow, a towel, um, whatever you need in case uh, you have tighter hamstrings or tight hips. Blocks are always good too. All right guys, so a seated position if you're able, uh, cross-legged position. Now we're going to sit up nice and tall, giving those shoulders a big roll up and back. And those shoulders are just going to gently slide down and away. Let's do that shoulder roll one more time, take it up and back and release those shoulders down and away. Let's just bring those hands around behind the back and interlace the fingers. Rolling those shoulders back, extending through those arms, long through the spine, a little tuck of the chin towards the chest. Now you can have those palms together or you can have the palms apart if you need that towel or strap. If you can't quite get those fingers interlaced, awesome, grab it. Now inhale, lift your gaze, and as you exhale, gently take your gaze to the sky as you roll those shoulders back even more. Breathe. Inhaling it up nice and tall, release the chin towards the chest. Let the shoulders come forward just a little bit, and then roll the head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder. So just more of a neutral position for those shoulders. Spine nice and tall, making sure that we're not just being lazy through the belly. Always keeping the belly engaged. Just a nice long stretch all the way down that left side of the neck. Gently rolling the chin back towards the chest. And let's roll it to the left. Left ear over the left shoulder. Uh, just let no tension in the neck and the shoulder. That feels super good. Exhaling, bringing the chin back towards the chest. Inhaling, head up nice and tall. Now let's lift those arms behind us as high as you can get up. It's not a view for you. So we're just lifting the chest, making sure that we're not leaning forward or leaning back, but we're sitting nice and tall. Now again, those palms don't have to be touching, but if you can keep them touching, great. If you need that strap or that towel, grab what you need. And then slowly release those hands down. And slowly begin to hinge forward. Now, if you need the support of the hands, bring your hands forward and walk them out. Otherwise, arms just stay behind you, fingers stay in your waist. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Let your head be heavy. Let the arms be heavy. Let's gently release one hand and extend it out in front, and then the other. Lengthening through those fingertips, pressing your tailbone towards the mat. Relax the weight of your head. Inhale, reach it out. Core strong, hinge it all the way up. And as you exhale, turn to the right. Tap your fingertips to the mat. Inhale, reach to the sky. Turn back to face front. And exhale, rotate to the left. Sitting up nice and tall. A little tap to the mat. Inhale it up nice and tall. Let's do that one more time each side. Really feeling those oblique muscles helping to get that rotation along. Inhale, reach to the sky. One more time, we turn to the left. Three. Inhale it back to center. And exhale, release those hands down by your sides. Let's bring the hands forward and come up onto all fours. Come into a tabletop position. Hands, shoulder width apart, knees or hip width. Core is nice and strong, so some core stability here. Keeping those core muscles engaged, we're going to inhale and extend left arm and the right leg. So our spinal balance, lengthening and reaching through the fingertips, lifting out of that right shoulder, keeping that pelvis level. Breathe. 
add a flex of that right foot, press through your heel. Now as you inhale, hollow the tummy and chest, draw the knee and the elbow towards one another, and then extend it out. Inhale, draw it in, keeping the core strong, keeping that pelvis in line, so we're not opening those hips, but we're staying strong through the core. Every muscle through the core engaged, drawing that belly button in and out, moving in and out with the arm and the leg. One more. And release it down. Centering your weight. And we take it to the other side, inhaling it up. Right arm, left leg. Squaring those hips, lengthening and reaching through the fingertips and through the toes at a flex of that left foot. So our spinal balance really working to create that stability. Staying strong. Shaky might happen, swaying might happen, it's okay, we're working to get stable. As you inhale, elbow and knee come in. Exhale and extend it out. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale and extend it out. Just moving with your pace, your breath. Staying lifted out of that left shoulder. Hollowing the tummy and chest, let's do one more. And release it down. Sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long. Just rest the forehead towards the mat. Nice big deep breaths. And we're going to inhale, lifting just slightly, and walk your hands out to the left, reaching through your right fingertips as you press your hips to the right and relax the weight of the upper body down. So here we get into a nice stretch for those obliques, the shoulder hips, the spine. Inhale, lift, walk your hands back through center and over to the right, reaching through those left fingertips, pressing those hips to the left and release the weight of the head down. Nice big deep breaths, guys. Inhale, lift, just slightly walk your hands back through center, fingertips reaching out. To child's pose. So we're going to check in with child's pose here. Seeing how those thighs are doing, those quadriceps. How about those hips and the lower back? So keeping that body loose and limber while being strong and fluid. Core strength, gaining power, spinal flexibility, creating that torque for your swing. Those repetitive motions, guys, can really wreak havoc on the body if you don't take care. So cheers to you for taking time to heal, to mend, to grow, to get stronger and more flexible. Let's extend those arms out nice and long. Lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky. Coming up to down dog. So downward facing dog, not only stretching through the backs of the legs, but strengthening those shoulders, the core. Flexibility in the shoulders. Heads heavy, face is soft. Let's inhale it to high plank. And we're gonna transition between these two poses, just with your breath. Exhaling to down dog. Inhaling to plank. Exhaling to down dog, continuing to shift between these two poses, just transitioning as fluidly as possible. So we're working through the hips and the shoulders. Range of motion, keeping those joints super happy. Last one, and let's inhale it to high plank. Crocodile down, press it through up dog, and exhale to down dog. Shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back knee to the mat if you like, otherwise knee is off. And we circle those arms overhead. Shoulders soft and away from the ears. Sinking deep into that lunge. Breathe. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, rotate to the right. Open those arms out to a T. Inhale, back to center, arms come overhead. So this spinal flexibility as we rotate, exhaling and open, same direction. 
not only are we working that flexibility of the spine, but we're also strengthening those oblique muscles, the stabilizer muscles in the legs, in the core. Last one, open, hold it open. Pull the hands to heart center. Let's take that left elbow to the right knee, pressing against the knee and working to bring your hands towards heart center, gazing out over that right elbow. Find your breath. Opening those arms if you like. Back of that left arm pressing against the outside of the knee. Find your breath. Keeping that rotation, pulling those hands back to heart center. Let's face it forward once again. Extending the arms to the sky. Big circle of those arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. And extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog. And let's alternate the knees. Walk it out. Pressing through the palms of the hands to guide that weight back towards your heels. Now when we first start yoga, down dog may not be your very favorite place. Stay there as long as you can. And then come into child's pose. And then come back to down dog. Eventually, down dog will become as relaxing as child's pose, believe it or not. As you exhale, gently release both heels to down dog. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back knee down if you like, otherwise knee is up. Arms circle overhead to our crescent lunge. So again, that back knee can be down. Top of the foot resting on the mat. We're working to get that stretch through the front of that right leg. If the knee is off, press through that back heel. Breathe, core is strong. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, rotate to the left. Open those arms out to a T. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, it open. Rotate. Inhale, back to center. Just moving with your breath, guys. Staying strong through those legs. That isometric hold in those legs can be challenging. Breathe into it. One more time. This time, let's hold that rotation. Pull the hands to heart center and place that right elbow to the left knee. Pressing against the knee and working to bring your hands towards heart center. Left elbow pointing towards the sky. Find your breath. Opening those arms if you like. Back of that right arm pressing against the outside of the knee. Getting as much rotation as you can. Slow, steady breath. We pull those hands back to heart center and face it forward once again. Extend those arms to the sky, big circle of those arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. And gently releasing it down. Holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Hold your plank. Breathe. We shift our weight to our left foot, right leg lifts. So this is going to fire up that core, fire up those shoulders. Actually, it'll fire up your entire body. If you like, shift your weight to that right hand, left arm extends. Find your breath, lift out of the shoulder, and breathe. And release. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left leg lifts. Hips are square, core is strong. Shift your weight to your left hand, right arm extends. Breathe, feel all the different muscles kick in to stabilize. And release, nice job. Lift your hips to down dog. Slow, deep breaths. The end of your exhale, take the gaze between your hands, walk super hop to forward fold. Bringing the hands to the elbows, we hold on. And heavy. Hold on to those elbows, but let your arms be heavy. Feel that gentle pull. That wonderful stretch and that release in that lower back. Great stretch in the glutes and the hamstrings. Let's gently sway. 
side to side. Let's breathe. We come back to center, relax the arms, bend the knees. As much as you need to, let your tummy and chest come to rest on your thighs. Now again, if you have tighter shoulders and you have that strap handy, grab it, grab it, and bring it around behind you. We interlace the fingers or take a hold of that strap in each hand. Let your head be heavy, give it a little shake. Let go of that tension. Now we can keep the hands resting where they are, or you can like roll those shoulders up and back. Lift your hands towards the sky. So get in that stretch into the shoulders, the chest. We have this natural tendency to kind of look forward. I want you to tuck your chin towards your chest. So those palms might be together, they might be apart. Just find what feels the best to you. And if you like, begin to straighten your legs a little or a lot. Now this is gonna to totally influence your stretch both for the arms, the shoulders, as well as those legs. So be nice. Challenge yourself, but be nice. And slowly bring your hands to the small of the back. Gently releasing those arms, let them hang. And slowly, slowly roll it up. One vertebra at a time. With a big shoulder roll at the top, shoulders slide down and away. Let's do that again. Big shoulder roll up and back, shoulders slide down and away. Turning the palms to the front, tummy as you tight, glutes are tight. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk super hop to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Nice big deep breaths. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Now we're going to slowly walk our hands towards center. So come towards me. And we're going to let those feet just swoop, um, kind of swivel around so that the toes are facing to the outside corners of your mat. Legs are long, and we're going to relax the weight of the upper body down. Mm, just let your body sink. So if you need to adjust the width of your legs, the stance, please feel free. In or out. Taking a hold of the outsides of the ankles, if that feels good to you, use the strength of your arms to start to pull that upper body towards the space between your legs. If the crown of the head gets to the mat before you'd like it to, bring those feet a little closer. Find that breath. Now just play with your weight distribution on your feet a little bit. So maybe you transfer some weight forward into the toes and the balls of the feet. Maybe you shift it back into your heels and you lift your toes. So just noticing what your body does to adapt to that change in weight. Breathe. We come back to center, releasing the arms, let them hang. We're going to inhale up halfway, core is strong. We're going to center our right hand out in front of us and rotate our body as we allow that right hip to lift, reaching and lengthening, extending from fingertip to fingertip, and then circling that top arm around behind your back. Forearm along the small of the back. If you can find your thigh, hold on to it. Can't quite find it, just wrap your arm. Rolling that top shoulder back. Now keep that top shoulder roll back and slowly take your gaze down towards the mat or towards the floor. As much as you can rotate the head without pulling that top shoulder down. Breathe. Now those hips are still shifted. And once again, take your gaze back towards the sky. Can you feel that great stretch to the inner thigh? Extending arm to the sky and then slowly releasing it down. Right hand takes the place to the left. We rotate and lift that left hip. Left arm extends to the sky, reaching up as high as you can reach. Breathe slow and steady. 
circling that top arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that thigh, hold on to it, rolling that shoulder back and away. Now keep that shoulder rolled back and slowly begin to turn your gaze towards the floor. As far as you can turn your gaze, breathe. So we got a lot going on here, guys. So just make sure that you're paying attention, you're aware, you're being kind, your breath is good and slow and steady. We take our gaze back towards the sky, extending your arm once again, reach to the sky, and then slowly releasing it down. Relax the weight of the upper body down. Now, if you are taking special care of your lower back today, you're going to bend your knees, place your hands just above your knees, and begin to roll yourself up. That feels amazing. Extend those arms out to a T, lengthen through the crown of the head, and we slowly hinge all the way up. Give yourself just a second. Rotate palms to the sky. Turn those toes out. Make sure that they're turned out to the outside corners of your mat. Inhale, reach to the sky. Sunflowers, grand plie down. Chest stays tall. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, grand plie. Inhale, reach. Two more. Big, deep breaths. Squeezing your buns at the top. One more time. Big squeeze at the top. And exhale, open the arms to a nice wide V as you gaze to the sky. Chest comes forward just a bit. Little arch in that back. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, open those arms out to a T. Hinge it over. All the way over once again. Strong through that lower back. Let your upper body just melt. Now we're going to inhale and we're going to lift just slightly. We're going to be light on those feet and we're going to walk our hands back towards your top, top foot as you let those feet just shift to our low lunge. Lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend your leg to the sky and gently releasing it down to down dog and just gently alternate bending knees walk it out checking in nice big deep breaths as you exhale let both heels sink we shift our weight to our left foot right toes to the sky exhaling and sweeping that right knee through foot to the inside we come to pigeon pose so now we're going to get some love for those hips making sure that your knees are happy here if your knee is not so happy come over onto that right hip and pull that left leg in otherwise that back leg is long chest is lifted if your lower back does not love this bring your hands forward as much as you need to for your um, back to be happy Shoulders are soft, and we're allowing ourselves to sink in. So body weight, huge here, just working with gravity to let those hips sink. Breathe, slow, steady. And now let's slowly walk the hands out to sleeping pigeon. So if you're already down, we're coming to meet you. Either fully extending those arms or stacking your hands. And take a big breath in and we squeeze every muscle in that lower body. And then exhale, let yourself sink. So we're working to let go of tension and tightness, right? That settles into those hips. Lots of negative energy settles into the hips. And if you have a lifestyle where you do a lot of sitting, whether you're driving, working behind a desk, uh, whatever it may be, if you're sitting a lot, those hip flexors can really tighten up on you and your hips. The pigeon is a great pose for you. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. You can stay as long as you like. One of the beautiful things. Stay as long as you like. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back. Extend right leg to the sky. Go ahead and flex and point your foot. Roll your ankle, give your leg a little shake. And gently releasing it down. To down dog, holding your down dog, grabbing a drink, or inhale it to high plank. We're gonna go as slow as we can to crocodile down. You can be on your knees or your toes. Make it last, go slow. Do your best so that your tummy's not leaving. We're leveling down in a nice flat position. 
super slow. Press it up. Breathe. Elbows right by the ribs. Pressing through the palms and the hands. Coming all the way back up to plank. Lift your hips to down dog. And just gently alternate bending knees. Walk it out. So keeping those hamstrings loose, long. That will help keep that lower back happy. Oftentimes, those hamstrings really can be short, guys. We want to give them love and lengthen them. As you exhale, let your heels sink. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left knee through, foot to the inside. Pigeon pose on the left side. So we're going to check in. First with the knee, then with the back. Making sure that we are making whatever adjustments we need to make to make sure our body says, I got this. This feels good. Not causing extra tension, but actually releasing some of that resistance and getting that flexibility rather than tensing everything up. Goes against everything we're trying to do. Breathe. And then let's slowly, slowly start to walk those hands out, coming to sleeping pigeon. Either fully extending those arms or stacking your hands, relaxing the weight of the upper body down. We take a big breath in and we squeeze every muscle in that lower body. Feel yourself rise just a little bit. And then exhale. Let yourself sink. Nice big deep breath. And again, you can stay here as long as you like. When you're ready, walk your hands up. One hand on either side of your knee. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. Point and flex your foot. Roll your ankle, give your leg a little shake, and then gently release it down to down dog. Inhale it to high plank. Let's take it halfway down and hold. So that core strength, guys, it's key. Take it low and hold. Halfway up, hold. All the way up, hold. Beautiful, release your knees. Untuck your toes, walk your hands forward, and then slowly lift your sit bones towards the sky as you press your chest and your armpits towards the mat. Our puppy pose. Flexibility through the shoulders. Finding that breath, you can be on your chin or you can have your cheek to the mat. One more good breath in and out. As you inhale, lift the upper body and walk those hands back to tabletop. We take that right hand, sweeping it through between the left arm and the left leg, shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body and extend left arm to the sky. Reaching up as high as you can reach. Breathe. Working to stack the shoulders. Feeling that beautiful stretch throughout your entire spine. Rotating that left palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Arm right along the side of the face. Inhale, lift that left arm to the sky, and slowly release your hand down. Press it back to tabletop, center your weight, and let's take it to the other side. Left hand sweeps through, shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body and extend, right arm to the sky. Reach it up as high as you can reach. Really working to stack those shoulders to lengthen out of that right shoulder up to the tips of the fingers. We rotate that right palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Arm right along the side of the face. Breathe. So we hold our poses for just a few breaths to let that body just adapt and to let go of the tension it may be holding, the resistance. 
Inhale, lift that right arm back to the sky and slowly release your hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop. And let's bring that hip to one side, sweep the feet around, slide on down to the top of your mat, extending the legs out nice and long. Flex your feet, bring the hands around behind you, fingertips pointing towards your bottom. Lift the chest, arch your back. As you open that chest and draw those shoulders back, activating the muscles to that upper middle back. Now point your toes, press through your heels and begin to lift your hips towards the sky. Recline plank, reverse plank. Breathe. Gazing towards the sky or down towards your belly button. Squeeze those buns and then slowly lower your bottom back down. Shift your weight forward, sit up nice and tall, reach to the sky, flex your feet. Exhaling, releasing the back of that left hand against the outside of that right foot. Rotate your body and extend that right arm in a diagonal line. Press against the outside of your foot for that rotation. Breathe. Exhale, draw that back hand forward. Bring your palms to touch. Inhale, one hand on either side of your feet. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, back of the right hand against the outside of your left foot. Rotate your body and reach that left arm in a diagonal line. Pressing against the outside of your foot. Reaching out of that left shoulder. Out through those fingertips. Breathe. Slow, steady breaths. Exhale, drawing that back hand forward, bringing your palms to touch. Inhale, one hand on either side of your feet. Sit up nice and tall. Soften your feet and slowly lower down. One word we're coming to the mat at a time. And relax. Drawing one knee in towards your chest and then the other hands to your shins just below your knees. Now we're just gonna rest our hands right on the knees and we're gonna make big circles with those knees. Big or little, you decide what's right for you. So you might notice a little rocking side to side. If you're staying steady, that's perfectly fine. One more rotation. As the knees come back towards your tummy and chest, switch directions. Finding that breath. Just getting a little massage here. Mobility. And it just feels good. One more time as those knees come in towards the chest. Bring the hands to the shins, pull those knees in nice and tight. Now let's interlace those fingers and just rest the weight of the arms against the shins. We slowly turn our gaze out over that right shoulder and then close your eyes and let your head be heavy. Great way to quiet those hip flexors as the weight of the arms are just holding the knees in. We take our gaze back to center and then out over to the left shoulder. Letting those shoulders be heavy, allowing the head to be heavy. Just letting gravity be here. And let the body relax and go where it's ready to go. We come back to center. Keeping that right knee tucked in, extend your left leg out and down. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the floor. Take your gaze out over that right arm. And then just close your eyes. One of the greatest stretches in my mind is the back. For the neck, for the shoulders, for the hips. Even just the body weight working with gravity. And you can literally just feel your body melting as it lets go of that restriction. Rolling back to center, extending that right leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation to that hip. Reaching out through the toes and slowly lowering your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in. 
Left arm out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the floor, chest open to the sky. Turn your gaze out over that left arm. Now sometimes you might hear a crack, a pop. You just want to make sure that there's never any pain at all. Oftentimes it's just the body realigning. You really, really want to listen in. And gently release and coming back to center. Extending left leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, a little external rotation through the hip. And slowly lower that leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Arms come down by your sides, turn your palms to face the sky. Let those feet just naturally roll out. As you let the leg pinch in the hips. And then all back. And I invite you to find a comfortable place. If it's not right here, make whatever adjustments you need to make to find that comfortable place. Close your eyes. Give yourself permission to step away from your everyday life just for a few moments. As your awareness is drawn inward, I want you to take a moment visualize a moment in your perfect life. What's the temperature? Where are you? What are you doing? Are you with anyone or on your own? I want you to feel the happiness the joy in your heart, in your mind, the sense of freedom and peace, the calm of the excitement, the moment of knowledge, presence, and every detail. slowly, gently begin to wiggle our fingers and our toes. We start to bring our awareness back to our surroundings, the underneath us, the weight of our body resting against the earth. And as you're ready, drawing those knees in towards your chest and just gently rolling to one side. Using the strength of your arms as you're ready to help you come up. We come up to a seated position, one that feels right to you, sitting up nice and tall, resting your hands comfortably wherever you like. Close your eyes, take big deep breaths. Take a moment to thank your mind and body for allowing you to take this journey today, recognizing that it is in every way your journey. We challenge ourselves, we honor wherever we are within our practice. We know that each and every time we come back, we are doing something really good for ourselves. Let's gently open the eyes, take a big breath in, reach to the sky, and exhale, pull the hands to heart and center. I want to thank you for joining me today. 
I hope it felt great. Uh, I hope the next time you get out there on the course, you notice the difference. Stay consistent, my friends. Uh, I hope you subscribe. I hope you loved what you saw. Um, lots of different videos for different sports. Um, there are several for golfing. If ever you have any suggestions, questions, need anything at all, please don't hesitate to comment. Um, I will get back to you and I will do what I can to make uh, whatever you need happen. So be well. Take care. Enjoy. Until the next time.